What's up guys, it's your boy Mystic here back with another video, hope you guys are all doing well and today we'll be doing a review on the MPAL Flames. These headphones can generally be found for 20 to 30 pounds, so they are definitely low range headphones. But nevertheless, let's get into the specs of this device, everything that you need to know about this device before you purchase it. The first spec is the fact that it has 7 hours of battery life two hours of charging time it's ipx7 so this means it can survive light rain and it can also survive sweat so you shouldn't have any problems if you're doing a little job in light rain but obviously if it's heavy rain you may actually have a problem it has bluetooth 5.0 so one of the most up-to-date bluetooths actually out there right now and the connection can last about one to two rooms or if your phone's upstairs and you're right below it I don't think you should have any problems but it does get quite far before it becomes an actual problem and starts lagging and starts cutting out but now let's go into my pros then my cons and then my overall conclusion of this device starting off with the first positive of this device i've never had any problems with the headphones actually falling out of my ear due to the fact that it has this little piece of plastic here that's goes around your ear to help secure it in place and this works on the vast majority of ear shapes and this has really helped me especially if you're doing very active movements where you're moving up and down left and right it just helps keep it in place unlike other headphones where you shake your head once or twice and then all of a sudden they're on the floor the next positive is the fact that it's actually extremely cheap for a pair of sports headphones. Your average sport headphones range from about £40 to as high as £200 because as you know, Beats released their own sporting headphone line with the same ear tip as this, but it's just completely wireless. So you understand that there is quite a big market for sports headphones and it's quite shocking to see Empower Flames bring up something so much under the usual budget. And the final positive before we move on to the negatives is the fact that the headphone quality is actually pretty decent considering the price. It actually feels like a mid-range earphone even though it's actually low range. It doesn't feel studio quality but it sounds to a quality where it's acceptable and you can still enjoy your music on a budget. But nevertheless, it's time for the negative now. Things I just didn't like about this product. But the first thing I don't like about this product is even though it says it's IPX7 and can survive light rain and sweat, when I sweat with this device, the audio volume goes lower, it starts to sound really muffled, and it's just kind of annoying and I'm wondering why since it said it's IPX7 so it should be able to survive this. It's just kind of annoying and really inconvenient when I'm just trying to do my exercise. But it goes straight back to its normal volume right after it dries. The next negative is the fact that the charging port is actually very detrimental, annoying to use and it causes quite a lot of problems. Unfortunately, a couple weeks ago the charging port decided to stop working that's why i needed to bring out this video to tell you guys because it's kind of annoying why this charging port's decided not to work it's always been doing this for quite a while on and off and now it's decided not to charge anymore which is actually really annoying i followed all the guidelines all the youtube videos about how to fix this maybe play around with the usb port but I've still not managed to fix it and it's just really annoying and kind of starting to feel like it's actually a waste of £20 and it's just much better to get a different pair of headphones, just a little bit more expensive. And pretty much the final negative before we get to my conclusion of this device is the fact that it builds up earwax fairly quick. <laughs> if this is just my personal problem or everyone's experience, this is just an earwax magnet. But whenever I put these headphones on, within a week, it will be full of earwax and I'll have to use a quick little pin or something to scrape it out like any other headphones. So it's just annoying. Hopefully it's just me and you guys don't experience this problem. But if it's actually just an earwax magnet, well, that's actually quite unfortunate then. But now it's conclusion. In conclusion, I would not recommend this product. The first reason why I wouldn't recommend this product is because, first of all, it doesn't work anymore. The charging port doesn't work, 
and that's just the main reason why I wouldn't recommend it. I don't want this to happen to anyone else. But the second reason is that there's better quality headphones out there for about £20 more. You can get something that definitely will last you more than two years instead of buying headphones that will only last you a year or six months. It's just better to make something last longer than a short period of time and you're buying three. It just makes more sense money wise. But nevertheless, that was my review. If you guys enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and supporting the channel. My goal for the end of the year is 250 subscribers and I could really appreciate if you guys could support me to this goal. But yeah, it's with Mr. K. Thanks for watching and bye.